So I think I should do a deep dive into my record collection. So, let's first start off with the giant albums. I don't know what to call them. So, greatest music from Broadway. Uh, I got this as a Christmas present alongside my record player. Because I was like, I don't know what records I want, just get, I'll just take any. So my aunt went to the th it went to her local thrift store and got a bunch of greatest music from Broadway. I've listened to it a bit. Oh yeah, that's right. This goes down. I forgot. <clears throat> um, but I haven't listened to it a whole lot. Um, I don't know Broadway. I just have this. So. Uh, I don't know what to say about Broadway. I'm just gonna set this for here. We'll grab the next of the giant albums. By the way, both of these have 10 records in them. Wonderful World of Music. I listened to this a couple times. It's all right. Yeah. It has Austrian music, <clears throat> French music, Roman, or yeah. Uh, Russian music, Russian music, Italian music, Hungarian music, Spanish music, German music, Scandinavian music, and yeah, ten records. Uh, that's one Bohemia's. I'm not a geography nerd. <laughs> like most, I'm American, so I'm allowed to be stupid. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, those had ten records. Now the other big albums I have when we have eight. Um, Beethoven's Greatest Hits. Yeah. <clears throat> These I really have not listened to much. Uh, Beethoven's Greatest Hits. Oh no, it's not just Beethoven. Uh, it's Mozart, a bunch of other guys I've never heard of. Box. <clears throat> yeah. So, now, I'm going to actually start putting some of these back in my little basket I have for records. Because I don't have a stand yet. I'll get a stand someday, probably when the Vikings win the Super Bowl, though. And then this one is, I'll show it off after I put So, uh, last one I have is the most recent one. Uh, being the magic of Mantovani. Probably pronounced that wrong. My mom went somewhere and she was like, Do you want this record? I was like, Sure. So I got it. Yeah. I haven't really listened to it much. <clears throat> now, let's go for the old 78s now. Uh. I went to the same thrift store my aunt got the records she got me for uh, Christmas. And I got some old 78 RPM records. These say Bing Crosby, but like, I don't think these are Bing Crosby records. <clears throat> they don't seem to be. Um, because like, it like, doesn't have Bing Crosby records in it, so I don't know what the, what the deal with, with that is. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so yeah. Let's get into my 45s. Actually, I didn't even get into the songs on it. So there are five records in here. Uh, they are very old. From the 40s. These are 10 inches. Uh, I don't know if 7 inch uh, uh, 78s were ever made. I doubt it because this is one song per side. <clears throat> but I know that there is 10 inch and 12 inch 78 RPM records. The ones that I have are 10 inch. Uh, I've seen 12 inch because my grandma has an old 78 RPM record player with records inside of it. <clears throat> Some of them are 12 inches. Now let's get into my 45s. Um, so. I have five 45 RPM records. I want to get some more. In fact, I want to get cases for them so they're nice and protected. Uh, 
though the main ones that I have right here, let me grab them both, are from a small band that I could not find anything on. Uh, these belong to my grandmother. Uh, she gave them to me for Christmas because she was like, I don't need the records, you can have them. <clears throat> uh, she, she and my grandpa much preferred cassettes. Because they were smaller, con more convenient, and actually, you know, portable. And then these three, I was just given for Christmas. Uh, they are all 30, they are all uh, Christmas music ones. <sighs> Weirdly enough, like, 45 RPM records are usually reserved for, like, singles. Like, or if you're taking a song from an album and putting it on something that just has one song per side. They're usually reserved for one song per side. But yet these have multiple per side. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> They're just like your usual Christmas songs. And then, let's get into the three Christmas albums I have. Because, you know, I was gifted my record player along with... My first things of records during Christmas. So why not get some Christmas albums alongside of it? Uh, so, Twas the Night Before Christmas, I barely listened to this. Uh, same with This Greatest Songs of Christmas. But This Greatest Songs of Christmas, I've listened to a lot. <clears throat> uh, it, it actually got me into Andy Williams, because the first song in it is Andy Williams. Uh, so, that's that's pretty good. Then, I get, uh, I have, well, my grandma gave me her, uh, 45, or 33 RPM records, along with the 45, so I just wanted to double check something, because these, I made a short about fixing the cases, just wanted to make sure it wasn't glued inside here, and that could not work anyways, because it just broke. Uh, I'll just grab some packaging tape somewhere, or not, eh, yeah, what's it called? can't remember the name of it. Uh, this Merle Haggard vinyl. Never heard of him. <clears throat> um, let me set this up here, actually. Then Tommy Rowe. Oh, jeez. That's okay. Yeah, Tommy Rowe's Greatest Hits. Uh, those were my grandma's 33 RPM records. Uh, and my mom, one day was like, you know, she went record shopping somewhere, and got me South Pacific. She said it was like a popular band from a, from a sometime period or something. Uh, I've never heard of them. I've listened to this maybe once, not very much. I honestly forget I have this one. <laughs> uh, now to the home stretch of my Andy Williams collection. So the first one I got was Honey. Uh, when my mom, yeah, you know, like, like this, my mom got this for me when she was record shopping. Same time when she got South Pacific. Um, and so yeah, I got that, and that's what's and that's also what started kind of started me to get collecting Andy Williams. Uh, two other ones. So, then I went to the thrift store that my aunt went to. It was when I also got the the 78s. Uh, and I got these. Four Andy Williams finals. Canadian Sunset, the love theme from The Godfather, Happy, oh no, that's Moonwalker. This is Happy Heart. Um, and then, oh, and so like this one's my favorite Andy Williams vinyl. This is my favorite vinyl, and it's, like the sound quality on it is very good too. <clears throat> um, and then my most recent vinyl is the Shadow of Your Smile Andy Williams. My mom got it along with the and or the Magic Man Tavani or whatever it was called. Um, so yeah, that's my record collection. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm putting it back. I have a little basket under here for my records. Uh, so, let's, so, other records I hope to get, um, more Andy Williams, because I'm a fan of him. Uh, <clears throat> and I, I recently, I want to say recently, but it, it was actually two months ago, geez, that flies by fast. I listened to the, um, there we go. I listened to Bo Burnham's Inside for the first time in January. And for, it's ever since then, the songs have been stuck in my head. I hope to get the Inside Deluxe vinyl. Uh, I'm 99% sure I'll get it. Because, like, I was... I was saying to my mom, huh, like, these, these records I found on eBay wouldn't be a bad idea. It's like a birthday present. Um, and you know the thing, parents have to play dumb. Because, like, I sent it, sent the eBay listing to her, and it said that there was, th there were three available from the seller, but two was sold, oh, uh, one of them was sold. And then I sent it to her, and, like, said how it would, it would be a pretty good birthday present idea. And... Uh, then I checked back the next day on the eBay listing. It said one was sold in the last 24 hours. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know the parent thing. They'll play dumb. So I'll let you know in a month when my birthday is, if I actually got it or not. Uh, I also hit, hope to get the Charlie Barron's vinyl. He has two of them. I'm, I'm a fan of Charlie Barron's. I'm from the Midwest, so I can relate to him a lot with his stuff like the Midwest goodbye and tell your folks that this high and watch for deer use Cool Whip container as Tupperware, like stuff like that. And I, I don't remember where I heard about his vinyl, but I want to get it. <clears throat> now, uh, some records that I want to get, but probably won't, are the Undertale vinyl, the um, Deltarune vinyls, the Minecraft vinyls. Because... They are just, uh, they're ridiculously overpriced. Like the Minecraft vinyls, last I checked were like $80 per one, even though like a bit before then, it was like 30 and $50 for them. And the Undertale vinyl, I can only find it, like last I checked, I could only find it for $170 on a place where, like eBay, uh, I've, I could find one place for $84, but it was always out of stock. I have not checked back there. I don't even know if I'm still going to get it. And, like, the Deltarune vinyl isn't too cheap. Like, it isn't too expensive. But it would be weird to have Deltarune, but not Undertale. So if I'm going to get Deltarune, I'm going to get Undertale. Like, I, 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 have our, I already have both games. Uh, but I'm saying about the vinyl. So... Thanks for watching my video talking about my vinyl records. <clears throat> and if I'm gonna be honest, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what got me into records. I don't know. I just think it was my brain's desire to fill in the collection because I like old cameras, I like VHS tapes, I like old uh, TVs. Fill in the rest of the old technology with records. I, I don't know. That's the only thing I think of. Plus, record players are being produced. Still. VHS, VCRs and old cameras and CRT TVs are not.